You know, we're showing you a lot of ways to get up and get out this week on Brightside. So today, something the whole family can get behind. Yeah, no matter where you are, it doesn't matter where you live. If you head outside, you can do this. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us in studio with more on bird watching. Yeah, you know, there's nothing like getting out into nature and simply observing everything that's happening around you and watching the birds. All you have to do is step outside today, look around, and listen. And it's an opportunity for people to see the wildlife up close, to watch them behave, you know, just right there in your yard and feel that sense of connection to nature that's so important for all of our, our health and our blood pressure and our sense of wellness. That is bird watching. Ann Paul is the president of the Tampa Audubon Society. Over 500 species have been identified as part of Florida's bird life. I met up with Ann in Lettuce Lake Park recently to find out more about bird watching. She says to start just by observing the different birds around your home. The Audubon Society even has an app you can download to help. The best thing to do when you're a beginning bird watcher is to learn about the birds you know. Then, the next time you see a bird you don't know, you can say, well, it looked a little bit like it was smaller than a pigeon, but bigger than a cardinal. She says the first time she was able to identify a bird on her own was a pretty special day. And I actually, I almost threw my book in the air, my hat in the air, not my binoculars, but did a little jig of joy because I could do it. I could do this bird watching thing. I could find birds and identify them. And it was one of the fun things. I'll never forget that day. And while the Audubon Society does group watching and meetings, bird watching doesn't have to be that formal. It can simply be a walk in the park. And one of the cool things is binoculars can be helpful because one of the rules of bird watching is you don't really want to disturb the birds. So you need to try to keep your distance. Also, remember if you're on the beach, too. Like, and you see birds kind of, don't run up and kind of get in their way. Don't feed the seagulls either. Yes, please, please don't. But, um, and it's good to be as quiet as possible when you're out because it really does lend to that sense of relaxation. Yeah. yeah. The good news is the Audubon Society has uh, different uh, chapters all throughout the Tampa Bay area. We have so many great parks in all of our counties. So many different birds to check out. Yeah, yeah Florida's it's amazing. Literally I love wild. Seeing the photos that people put on Instagram when they're watching all the birds, and you're right, so yeah. many different types of birds. Some of those out pelicans there. are like the size of a Great yeah. Dane. Wild. <laughs> Seriously, well it's fed. very cool.